Hi everyone, welcome into this week's My CBS Fix. Hope you all had a wonderful week. Speaking of weeks, this week's Parsha is Parsha's Bamidbar, and the holiday of Shavuos, which means weeks, starts on Saturday night. And I just wanted to share uh, an idea with you on the holiday of Shavuos, also connecting it to this week's Parsha. One of the main connections is the fact that the Jewish people are counted as a nation in this week's Parsha, and as everyone knows, the weeks that lead up from Passover, from Pesach through Shavuos, are also counted. We count one day at a time, seven weeks, seven times seven equals 49. The fifth day, 50th day is the holiday of Shavuos. So we've discussed in, in the past the, the idea of counting up, um, but this week I want to actually talk to you about why is it that we name a holiday Shavuos. Shavuos means weeks, and if we are talking about the 50th day, which is the holiday itself. Why are we naming the holiday based on the weeks that preceded it? We should give the holiday a name in and of itself. Now, the truth is, is that this name holiday is actually a rabbinical name, um, the, Torah, the, uh, the oral Torah gave. The Torah gives another name to it, or gives the biblical name to it, called the Chag HaAtzeres, which literally means the holiday of stopping. So what's the idea behind calling it the holiday of stopping? And why did, did, the, did our sages give the name of Shavuos, meaning weeks? So I want to share with you a concept that the idea of weeks is there's two important points of here. Point A and point B. Point A was the exodus out of, out of Egypt. The Jewish people became born as a nation. And point B is the culmination of the Jewish people finally receiving that Torah. So you had the starting point, and the Jews went out of Egypt only to be able to, to go get the Torah. In between are the weeks. The weeks are what connect the two points. The weeks signify and symbolize the journey that the Jewish people took towards getting the Torah. It's the journey that is in a certain sense, the most important part of a person's life. And therefore the sages gave it the name Shavuos. Because even though the 50th day is the holiday, but that holiday was named after what it took to actually make this holiday into a holiday. It's a similar concept with Shabbos. Shabbos, you can only have a seventh day if there's six, if there's six days first. And Shabbos actually means the whole week. We say today is the first day in Shabbos, the second day in Shabbos. So we see that it's really about the journey and that the stop becomes important. And therefore, one is discernible by the journey that he takes in his life. And we as a nation, we are discernible by the journey that we take in our life. And it's all about the journey. Now, I want to ask you a question. If you're, if you want to get to the top of a mountain, is What's the best way to get there? Is it to climb the mountain or is it take or is it to take a helicopter to the top? So we'll say uh, taking the helicopter to the top, that's the cheap way of getting up there. It's the climb. It's all about the ascent the, and, and the climb and overcoming that ability or what you thought you had an inability to do it and you proved to yourself that you're able to do it. Now standing at the top takes that much more meaning. And therefore, our journey throughout what's it called, throughout life, throughout every single day, when we finally get to a destination, that allows us to look back and reflect on what we had done and how well we had done it. And at the same time, you'll stand at the top of the mountain and you'll look down and say, I can't believe I, I ever thought that I would never be able to scale this mountain. And yet here you are. That's life in a nutshell. Life in a nutshell is being able to figure out how to get from point A to point B, even though it may seem difficult, which is a test for us. And therefore, the sages gave it the rabbinic name of Shavuos. So if that's, the, if that's true, so then why did God in the Torah call it Atzeres? Why did he call it the Atzeres? To stop. And the answer is, is that sometimes, even when you're on a journey, it's time to just stop. As we see with Shabbos, you work the whole day in order to What's Shabbos? Shabbos is the time to come back to yourself, contemplate the important things, allows you to take into stock what you've done on your journey till now, what you should do on the next leg of it. You have to have both. You have to have the journey and the stopping. 
You have to have the six days a week and then the Shabbos. You have to have the counting of the 49 days and then the holiday of Shavuos. That stopping is also very, very important because that stopping allows us to re-energize, concentrate on what we're doing, tap into what, what we're doing, remind us what the purpose of the entire journey is, which therefore brings us to the holiday of Shavuos. The holiday of Shavuos reminds us of that great marriage that took place between Hashem and, and His people. And the day that we got the Torah, and the Torah is our national treasure. And it's a time to just stop. And even though we have a journey, sometimes we have just have to go back to the actual learning of the Torah, which re-energizes us, which refocuses us. I want to go back to that one question I asked before, what's, what's better, to, to climb the mountain or take the, el take the helicopter to the top? So the real answer is, or the answer could be that it depends. It depends on the goal. If the goal is to, to see the view, the majestic view from the top of the mountain, then the best thing to do would be to take the escalator up instead of working for it. Climbing it, it's going to frustrate that goal. But if the climbing the mountain, the whole purpose of it is not the view at the top, it's the actual climb. So then climbing it is more important. Taking the escalator to the top is not the way to go. And life sometimes has both of them. Sometimes it's about the climb, and sometimes Hashem says, just enjoy the view. However you get to the view, you get to the view. You've got to stop. You get to the view, then you'll realize how remarkable it is. So that's the holiday of Shavuos, of weeks, and that is the holiday of Atzeres, one and the same. And therefore, we realize that when we study Torah on the holiday of Shavuos, we're re-energizing, we're refocusing, and then it allows us to continue to take the next journey and coming closer to Hashem. Have a great Yom Tif, have a great Shabbos. Thank you for listening.